환영합니다, 손님. 안녕하세요. After I was defeated, my subordinates were attacked by the men I made deals with before. After that, they lost to the library as well. Did everything I build up over the years crumble because of my unwise decisions? Are all my obsessions gone? What is left of me then? No. What was I looking for in the first place? Huh? This is the library. It's almost like a dream, but I know it isn't the case. The atmosphere seems so different. How much time has passed since I died? No one else is here, just me. Wasn't he a member of the Zwei Association? From the looks of it, is it okay to wake up in the library? I guess so. Was he meant to wake up here? Or was it just a coincidence for him to do so? I do not know. However, the indisputable fact is that he is awake in the library right now. Does this mean we need to receive him again as a guest? Well, it depends on what they wish for this time. I didn't send an invitation, so I don't know what they want. Frankly, I don't want to receive him either. Well, I guess you're right, because I just woke up here right now. First of all, I'd appreciate it if you'd get ready first. I don't know what will happen. This is the second time, so I don't think it's necessary to introduce myself. It's the second time? Yes, I can't go into too much detail, though. As you can see, what you're looking for isn't here anymore. I see. Why are you trying to get fame or status? I kept on thinking about it while I was in the light. I don't even know where I was. Why was I obsessed with something that will crumble after one mistake when... Regardless of rank, I believe that it was for building honor and status. But it collapsed since my only choice was to come to the library. My people were overrun by other low-ranking people, and I was also defeated here. The association is huge. When I'm gone, someone else will surely take my place. I'm sure you want to live. After all, the weak will always be food in the city. It's just how it works. Is that so? Am I here to live? If that's so, I can't leave, okay? I don't have a lot of options anymore, so if I don't get anything out of this place, my only fate is to disappear. If that's what you want, may you find your book in this place. Okay. Let's go ahead and go over the stats of Walter. So, Walter's page, 300 HP, 200 stagger resist, 2 to 6 on the dice rolls. All resistances are endured for slash, normal for stab and crush. Now, moving over to passive abilities, we have Shimmering. At the start of each scene, exhaust all pages in hand and deck and add new pages to hand. Their cost becomes zero. Slash mastery and pierce mastery. Slash and pierce dice power plus one. Your shield, defensive dice power plus one. Zwei Swordsmanship 1 slash damage plus 1. Okay, moving on to his cards, we have Retaliation on Clash Win, boost next dice's max value by 3. Suppress on hit, gain 1 endurance next scene. Memory Zwei Association on use, give 2 endurance to all allies next scene. Memory Stray Dog, start of Clash, all dice on this page lose 2 power. Memory, the Black Silence. On use, if not in a clash, dice gain two power. On hit, inflict three bleed and disarm next scene. On clash, win, boost next dice max value by three. And that is all the information on Walter's page. So let's go ahead and figure out who we're going to be using to kill Walter. So I will figure that out just in a minute. Let's get this going. Looks like he is taking massive damage already. And he already has 10 stacks of bleed, which that'll do a lot for us. Uh, sorry, Walter, you know, you, at this point, there is no reason for you to be here, especially since everyone else is pretty much released. The light has been released. The world is going to change, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, 
look at the day. Look at that. Literally. You have some smoke on you. Oh, damn it. Smiling. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, Hod is going to get her ass kicked because I fucked up on the smiling. Yeah, he is getting a lot of his shit back right now. Nice. Get some hits in. Yes, yeah, Walter, you are going to die again. Come on, get angry. Do it. Not smiley. Angry. Angry. There we go. Not bad. He's got a massive boost going on here. Nice. Some good hits right there. Oh. Okay, he retreated. Cool. Gah. I guess this is the limit for me alone. Who are you? That is true. I want to live. Yes, but I don't want to become what you want. If I continue doing that, won't I end up becoming something else someday? What's the point of living if I become something wearing the shell of my own skin? What a silly thing to say, you. Now I've lost everything. I am no longer bound by my position. What's my own desire? You won't understand. Even I won't understand it right away. However, one thing is for certain. As long as I live, I can do whatever I want. I'm sure I don't want it. Okay. Okay, Walter. End question mark. I love this. I love this. This is nice. I guess I want something more than just to live. I want to be myself. And I am the only one who can keep that will, am I not? Not at all. What a silly story. Those who call it your shield realize that. This body is about to shatter, but even so, if the last thing left of me is the EGO, I won't give up. I will struggle to protect my will until the end. Are you ready? All right. All right. Okay, this music is pretty hype right away. All right, well, let's go ahead and go over the statistics of EGO Walter. Walter, 800 HP, 400 stagger resist. All resistances are endured for slash and stab, normal for crush. Now, moving on to the passive abilities, we have Awaken Shield of the EGO. Speed dice slots, plus five. Shield of EGO. Defensive dice power, plus three. Swash it. Take no stagger damage upon being deflected. Upon winning a clash with a block dice, recover stagger resistance and deal damage to the opponent equal to half the roll amount. Schwa Frita. If there is a staggered librarian at the start of the scene, use Schwa Frita against them. After HP drops to 50% or lower, if the fight is prolonged, also use Schwa Frita periodically. Shell of EGO. When HP drops to 50% after the next phase, HP cannot be dropped below 50% before this occurs. At the end of the scene in which HP drops to 50%, recover from stagger, fully recover stagger resist, and removes the status Shattered Shield of Darkness. Okay. Will do. So we got to deal with them on that. And we can't have the fight prolonged. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and fuck him up. So it looks like he's got a lot of stagger resist, uh, or no, not stagger, counter dice. A lot of block counter dice that we need to get through. Oh, I just fucked up on that. Yeah, no, this was not a smart idea just to attack him like that.
Yeah, that's going to kill off our guys if we continue that. Okay, well, that is something I do need to read. Shield of Darkness. Take 90% less stagger damage from attacks. Lose one stack upon losing a clash with blocked ice. Upon reaching zero stacks, gain Shattered Shield of Darkness until the end of the next scene. Okay, here we go. Add some more bleed to him. That's gonna hurt. Nice. Destroy the next dice. Nice! <laughs> All right. A lot of us are really low on health right now, which sucks ass. Alright, okay, let's see if this works. So that didn't go through. Unfortunate. That did hit. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Not bad. Yikes. That is uh, staggered. Nice. She hit. Shafrita. Dice on this page. Gain plus one minimum and maximum value for every stack of endurance on self. If target is staggered, deal 50% more damage. Otherwise, deal no damage and double stagger damage. Now that's not good. Gonna save him. Make sure that he doesn't take any damage. Nice. Hell yeah. Getting through now. Adding that smoke to him. Oh, uh, now he's stacked with 10 smoke, so he's gonna take so much more damage. So that's going to do double stagger damage, which is cool. Because he was going to get staggered anyways. That is the game face that I wanted. Oh, nice. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. So double stagger damage here. No damage to him. Nice. And he died. Fuck. Dead. Okay, so definitely gotta change up my strategy. Shit, it changed to Smiley, god damn it. Nice. Nice. Yep, staggered, probably dead, yep. Yep, dead. And dead again. Okay. So I gotta change up my strategy on that. Will do! That was interesting. Indenty Tot. Mass summation, single use. Dice on this page gain plus one minimum and max value for each stack of endurance on cell. What, what am I doing? It's a defensive dice. Oh, okay. Well, that's not expected. 
Well, I thought since it was a defensive dice, maybe it wouldn't do anything, but I was wrong. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so I'm kind of getting tired of this guy, so he has to die. Degraded seal. Let's lock you up a little bit. Yep. Yep. Take him on a trip. Boom, baby. Let's go ahead and do that. Another one of those to give us more protection. And another one of that. is going to hurt you later. No more power for you. No power gain. Slap you with this. Oh yeah, you just missed everything. Isn't that a shame? And this is why I don't like using Venus team because it's just I know I'm going to be passing it in the first go Because they're just obscenely overpowered and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love bird lady Mama bird you don't fuck with mama bird Okay uh All you did was tickle them. Oh, that did not hit. Wow. But this is good because we just get protection out the ass and she's getting power while she's hitting these low numbers like that. Six, plus six power. Look at that. Look at all that protection. We are a-okay. Yeah, and it's just like one of those things where like no matter what this guy does even if he does attack us He's just hurting himself. That is why fairy is overpowered and honestly, it's insane that it's even part of the game Like bleeding him out was not gonna work For some reason I tried uh, I think I spent about uh, Let's see about close to an hour and a half doing that and I was just kind of was like you know what fuck it dirty that's gonna womp him Oop. oh yeah you're dead all right, Book of Egeo Walter has been obtained. Sorry if that wasn't too entertaining with Bina going in there, but I tried hard. I tried hard for about an hour and a half, and, you know, I don't want to prolong this video too long. So, there we have it. I'm surprised that even he could become that powerful. It's because the intensity of his emotions. Remember, Egeo's power depends on the user's emotions. But when we first received him as a guest, this didn't happen. What caused it to happen now? 
It may be influenced by the library itself. However, the bigger contributing factor might be the fact that he realized that he had lost everything. Because he was able to get rid of the greed for status and honor, he was able to focus solely on living. But of course, everyone has the desire to live, but as a result of continuing to choose the meaning of living, it will eventually become a goal. But isn't that a common occurrence in the city? Yes, but will the city give us the time to face it head on? I think it would be a punchline to die in the open before even thinking about it. By the way, did Walter return to being a book? Both correct and incorrect. I think I should say that only memories of this library are made into books. I think Walter will wake up somewhere in the city, just like the other guests. Of course, he will forget what happened here. Why did you do such a roundabout thing again? If the library is my EGO, I need to see what I can do. What do you mean, it is your EGO? That is a fact. Well, that's for sure. Also, if the guests wake up with their memories, they might get targeted. That EGO manifested with intense resonance while in an irregular situation in the library. It's unstable, so I don't know how it will fare while it's left in the city. He might even end up distorting like Philip. In the end, he just returned to the cycle of the city. Hey, are we going too far? Even so, we have to keep moving forward steadily. So I just gotta say, this page is gonna be really good on Hokma's floor, especially with the abnormalities he has there. So we're gonna go ahead and go over these, and then move on with the end all right guys here we are with shield of the egos page so let's go ahead and go over the passive abilities real quick and then i'll wrap up this video so starting off with shield of ego defensive dice power plus three watch with take no stagger damage upon being deflected upon winning a clash with a block dice recover stagger resistance and deal damage to the opponent equal to half the roll value Walter, at the start of the act, to draw two more pages and gain two endurance. Well, just gotta say, some of this shit looks pretty overpowered, but maybe that's just my own personal opinion. It seems like we can really just switch all this stuff up because it's not like they go, oh, can't be transferred and stuff like that. So all three of these can literally go on one page, which, I don't know, maybe? Now, I think the two that I really didn't go over is I went over these two, but I don't think I went over Zweihander. On use, restore one light. If eight or more stagger damage was dealt with defensive dice on this page, draw one page and reduce the cost of all other Zweihanders by one. On Clash win, boost the next die's max value by three. Add plus three power if the attack is one-sided. Retribution, on use, draw one page. If eight or more stagger damage was dealt with defensive dice on this page, restore one light and reduce the cost of all other retributions by one. On Clash win, boost next dice max value by three. Add plus three power if the attack is one-sided. And with that, everyone, that is going to conclude this video. So I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, go ahead and hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below because all comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Dominic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make because I am 